Today we're going to look at uh, exporting image assets. So when we want to um, apply our patterns to mockups, we need to export it from Illustrator in a format that we can upload to Artboard Studio. So we're, we're going to be creating PNG files. And uh, the way that we do this, in Illustrator, uh, we have an asset export box. And as it says, if you drag artwork onto this panel, it will generate the asset that you need. So what we're going to do, first of all, is just prepare some elements that we want, we want to export. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw um, a large, large sort of box with my pattern on there, largest rectangle. And um, then if you resize, you just double click on the pattern and it sorts it out for you. Let's get up there. That's it. So there's one pattern that I want to use, that I want to explore with. So I'm going to create another one. And this one, I'm going to recolor. And in the recolor artwork palette, I can flip through and create some interesting patterns, uh, different color combinations, see whatever floats your boat. And there are so many different types that you can do. Um, it's well worth, worth having a go at that. So I'm going to drag another copy across. Um, this time I'm going to recolor again. Um, also here, you can play with the saturation. Whereas the other one, we were just swapping the colors around. We, this, this button randomly changes saturation and brightness. You get some weird and wonderful combinations. And uh, you can explore and experiment with what you can create with that. And it's, it really is worth flipping through until you see something. You go, oh, that's, that really floats my boat. OK, so, wow. That hurts my eyes, but we'll, we'll go with that. So I've got my, my image assets that I, I want to export. The reason I've done them um, a little bit larger, the original pattern block that we used was only three inches by three inches. So we needed something a little bit bigger that we could use for, the, for, for uploading to Artboard Studio. So we have the asset export button here. Um, if you can't find it, you just go to Window, and I'm sure there is Asset Export. All I'm going to do now is just drag those three blocks of pattern into the Asset Export. I'm going to leave it at the scale as, as uh, to one, one to one, and what I want to do is change the 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 uh, suffix, so that the wording of, of the pattern. So I'm going to call this um, bug pattern artboard. And I just hit the export button. And then what you get is a dialog box asking you where you want to save it to. And I've already got um, a folder already set up. I mean, it's always good practice to set a folder up or create a new folder so that you know where all your elements are. There's nothing worse than looking for your elements and you can't find them because you're not sure where you saved them to. So I've chosen that and then you can see at the top there it says export for 20, it's, anyway it's gone, but it's already done. So once we've got our image assets exported, we can open up Artboard Studio and click start designing and you can see um, all the designs that I've already undertaken. So if you go to start with templates, that's probably the easiest thing to do to start with. And you can see there's lots of different templates available for you. A lot of the, one, the premium ones you won't be able to access if uh, you, you haven't applied uh, for the premium license as, as, as a student. Uh, so that's incentive for you to to really try to do that. So I'm going to use a packaging mockup and 
you know you can see there's digital mockups print apparel so there's t-shirts and things like that so i'm going to choose this box and i've already preloaded it so you just click on it and then it opens up something like this so those image assets that we created earlier in illustrator we need to upload those so you go to this private assets tab and you go upload assets and i've already preloaded these in and you can see all the other files that i've i've loaded in there too so the your first first job really is to think about replacing the patterns on each box and like all adobe products even though this isn't one or procreate everything works in layers these days so let's have a look here we can look at the first box and the one that's closest to us and we can replace the design by double clicking on the image and it shows you the design what we need to do then is go to your private assets and we can drag and drop your design in there probably need to scale it up a little bit just to make it fit and obviously we've hidden all that text under there we can in the layers we can drag that all the way underneath so that we still have that mock-up there you can change the text here you just select whatever text you want and you just go to main canvas just to see what it looks like and there you go you can see your your mock-up you can go back in here maybe you want to take this uh, and make it much bigger maybe you want to make it massive but obviously it'll pixelate after a while but you can you can move things around until you get them the way that you want them to be and i'm quite happy with that and then you can see this is what it looks like on the package and obviously you can tinker back and forth with with the text for that so what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to actually i'm going to command c copy that because I want to make sure that I've got the same size pattern and I'm hoping that if I if I go to the right side now I've selected everything but if I double click on the right side and I just paste there's my design just move it underneath the image and hopefully there you go and you can see that it doesn't quite line up but that's that's not an issue we go back and we can tinker and move things around and we just keep having a look yeah that'll do um and we just put the top to do now and the same deal i'm going to just paste that in go to the main canvas and there you go you can see i've lost the top tab there so what we need to do is which one are we looking at i think it's the top yeah so you just drag that into the group and now you've got the the label so when you go back to the main canvas it's all done and dusted and you can then apply a different pattern in this box you could actually add a textured background if you wanted to there's lots of things that you can do here, and there's lots of elements for you to play with once you've done all you have to do then is hit export you can save as a png and save as a PSD file. Just download it, it'll drop onto your desktop, and then you can post that to Padlet and keep it safe. Okay, so have a play today, see what you can do. No pressure, it's just playtime with this.